Good morning and welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is Morning Prayer for Sunday, July 16th. It's the sixth Sunday after Pentecost, and week two in the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 148 and 149. 1 Samuel 17, verse 50, to chapter 18, verse 4. And a canticle from Philippians, chapter 2, verse 6 through 11. And now please join me in singing the first verse of O God, Our Help in Ages Past. O God, our help in ages past, our hope for years to come, our shelter from the stormy blast, and our eternal Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Hallelujah, praise God from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Hallelujah. Psalms 148 and 149, and please recite them with me. Hallelujah, praise God from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Praise God, all angels. Praise God, all hosts. Praise God, sun and moon. Praise God, all stars of light. Praise God, heavens of heavens, and waters that be above the heavens. Let them praise the name of the Most High. For God commanded, and they were created. God has also established them forever. God has made a decree which shall not pass. Praise God from the earth, dragons and all deeps, fire and hail, snow and cloud stormy wind fulfilling God's word, mountains and all hills, fruitful trees and all cedars, beasts and all cattle, creeping things and flying fowl, rulers of the earth and all people, princes and all judges of the earth, both young men and maidens, old women and children. Let them praise the name of the Most High, for God's name alone is excellent, God's glory is above the earth and heaven. God also raises the strength of the people, the praise of all the saints, even of the children of Israel, a people near to him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, sing to God a new song, and sing God's praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in God their maker, and let the children of Zion be joyful in their sovereign. Let them praise God's name in the dance. Let them sing praises to God with the timbrel and the harp. For you take pleasure in your people, and you beautify the meek with salvation. Let the saints be joyful in glory. Let them sing aloud on their beds. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. To execute vengeance upon the heathen and punishments upon the people to bind their rulers with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron, and to execute upon them the judgment written. This honor have all God's saints. Hallelujah. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God from the heavens. Praise God in the heights. Hallelujah. A reading from the first book of Samuel, chapter 17, beginning at verse 50. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone, striking down the Philistine and killing him. There was no sword in David's hand. And then David ran and stood over the Philistine, and he grabbed his sword, drew it out of its sheath, and killed him, and then he cut off his head with it. And when the Philistines saw that their champion was dead, they fled. And the troops of Israel and Judah rose up with a shout and pursued the Philistines as far as Gath and the gates of Ekron, so that the wounded Philistines fell on the way from Sharaim as far as Gath and Ekron. The Israelites came back from chasing the Philistines, and they plundered their camp. And David took the head of the Philistine and brought it to Jerusalem. 
but he put his armor in his tent. When Saul saw David go out against the Philistine, he said to Abner, the commander of the army, Abner, whose son is this young man? And Abner said, As your soul lives, O king, I do not know. And the king said, Inquire whose son the stripling is. On David's return from killing the Philistine, Abner took him and brought him before Saul with the head of the Philistine in his hand. Saul said to him, Whose son are you, young man? And David answered, I am the son of your servant Jesse, the Bethlehemite. And when David had finished speaking to Saul, the soul of Jonathan was bound to the soul of David. And Jonathan loved David as his own. Saul took him that day and would not let him return to his father's house. And then Jonathan made a covenant with David because he loved him as his own soul. Jonathan stripped himself of the robe that he was wearing and he gave it to David and his armor and even his sword and his bow and his belt. Here ends the lesson. Defend us and we shall shout for joy for we put our trust in you. Merciful God, teach us your ways. Keep us from all sin today and for all of your intentions. And now in the words our Savior taught us, we're bold to say, Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now let's recite the canticle together. Hallelujah, praise to our Savior, Jesus Christ, who being in the form of God, did not deem equality with God, but emptied himself and took the form of a servant and was made in human likeness. And being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even the death of the cross. And therefore God has highly exalted him and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ reigns supreme to the glory of God. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, this is the day that God has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. 